Well, right behind me we have the uh, rooster stage, which is a 40-foot stage, 20 deep, and we divide it in half so that we always have music playing. When one band is setting up, another band is playing, and then when they're done playing, then we get the next group on, and uh, we just keep it going so we can get everybody a chance to play. And then throughout the woods, you'll see all the campers, which nobody's here yet. It's still a little early for them, but they'll be coming in. We have staff here now. And of course, we have our porta johns through the woods, and we'll have uh, generator lights in the parking area. And so here we have our vendor row, part of it anyway. And this is our sundry shop that's setting up for the weekend. They're going to have everything that you need, um, whatever you forgot, your batteries, your flashlights, personal items, ice, any, anything that you might have left at home that you want to have for your comfort is going to be here. Um, there's one of our vendors. We also have a vendor coming in that um, he, he's going to do bubbles. He's just, he's doing bubbles. And of course, we are so excited to welcome the further bus from uh, San Francisco. That's my dog right now, under there. Um, they drove in from San Francisco and we're so honored to have uh, Ken Kesey's son Zane is coming here with the Merry Pranksters from, from San Francisco. And these are the people who ran the uh, kitchen in, in 69. They, they did the uh, hog farm. Okay, this, this bend is a local lady from uh, the Calicoon, Jeffersonville area. Uh, she does Honey Hill Pottery is the name of her company. Uh, Eleni is her name, and she is doing all of our ceramics this year. We have our logo uh, stamped onto all of her ceramic pieces, and they're going to be tie-dyed and bis-colored, and they're just beautiful. And I'm so, and they will be available after the event. They'll be available online. So we're very proud of having our own merchandising line starting. This is our drum circle. It's probably our most proud. Uh, the thing that we are most proud of and most known for is the drum circle. We can get two or three hundred people around here at night and it is just one of the most amazing, amazing uh, moments of bonding for all of these people to come together in unison and create a beat and keep that going for so many hours. And we have some very famous drummers who have found out about us over the years and uh, come here just to play djembe. Um, we have Fantuzzi coming and we have, it, it becomes just the drum competition and it's just an incredible energy.